Hello Kinder, P. K. Soish, Hofentli School. Welcome to Standard 12. In Standard 11, you have already finished first three chapters. So now, in Standard 12, we are going to start with fourth chapter, Lexion Fear. Lexion Fear heist Waiter Kleidung und Mode. Waiter bedeutet weather, Kleidung clothes. Und Mode bedeutet Fashion. So now let's start fourth chapter. So now we start with lesson four. Aufgabe 4 A1. Leute machen Kleider. And first we are going to learn about colors. Farben. You can understand after seeing the color which color is there. So I am just reading the German words. And you already know this color. Rot. Orange, Gel, Grau is grey, Grün, Violet, Violet, Turkis is uh, sky blue, turquoise color, Brown, Blau, Lila, Lila is purple, Schwarz and White. You already know this color, so now we will move ahead. Now we are going to see different Kleidungstücke. Kleidungstücke bedeutet clothes. And these clothes we are going to see along with adjectives. Because in this chapter later on we are going to deal with adjective endungen. So first we will read few adjectives. We sind die Kleidungstücke. How are the clothes? Was ist blau, grün, rot, schwarz? Now here these colors are used as an adjective. What is blue, green, red and black? Gepunktet. You can see in the picture gepunktet is the dress with dots. Like polka dots or something like that. Gemustert is the designer one. There is some design sample uh, on that uh, cloth. Gestriped are the strips. Either vertical or horizontal. Carriert is the checks one and linear also means lines, horizontal lines are there. Most of the time gestriped are the vertical line and linear are the horizontal line. Now one Beispiel is given here. The hose is blau, the trouser is blue, the slide is rot und gepunktet and the dress is red and with dots. So now in the next picture they have given the clothes which you already know most of them. Gepunktet is with dots. Dust t-shirt you know. The hose is trouser. Carriot is the checks one. Gemustert with some design. Their mantle is overcoat full length. The slide means one piece. The Bermudas you already know. The Kravata is tie. The Winter Yaka is the winter jacket. Their rock is skirt. The Stank Top. It is same like English Tank Top. Their Anzug is blazer. Now the same thing is explained here on the right hand side. Was Gefeld dear? Was Gefeld dear nest? What do you like? What you don't like? Now, in case of Gefallen verb, you need to keep in mind whatever thing you like is always in nominative and the person who likes is in dative. That's why the first sentence there, Grüne, Rock, Gefällt, Mirnicht. Here you can see the adjective text ending. Grün has taken ending e, which we are going to learn in this chapter. So, I don't, I like the green skirt very much. The Skestreifte Clyde sieht schon aus. Aussehen is look. Looks very pretty. Then Brauen Mantel finde ich ganz elegant. I find the brown jacket very elegant. Aber die blaue Hose ist nicht so schick. Now these are negative comments. Schick is fashionable. Is not so fashionable. Aber die Blauen jeans sind nicht so modisch. And the blue jeans are not so modern. So here few positive comments are shown, few negative comments are shown, adjective endings is also shown and in case of Gefallen you have to keep in mind that the thing which you say you like is always in nominative and the person is in dative. So I hope this is clear. 
Now we are going to learn few accessories in German language. By seeing the picture, you can easily understand what it is. The Sonnenbrille, sunglasses, the Mütze cap, the ring, ring, the O-ring is earrings, their Gürtel belt, the Halskater is necklace or its chain something, the Uhr watch, their hood, hat, the Schuhe, shoes. Then the next exercise is Tupish man, Tupish frau. Welche Kleidungsstücke und Accessories sind typisch für Männer und Frauen? Such type of exercise can come in your vocabulary based exercise. They will give you four things and you, they will ask you to uh, divide those things in two columns, Männer and Frauen. And the exercise will be of two marks. So, such type of exercise can come under vocabulary based exercise. Now, here if we consider that Zonen Brille. Yes, it can be used by both. So, you, it can come under both the category. Ring, the, that ring seems to be of Frauen. So, ring, o-ring, halskater, hoot, typish Frauen. Uhr also looks like a Frauen uhr. But Gürtel, Mürze, Schuhe, you can write under Männer category. But definitely there are few things which are used by both. So, they can be written in both the categories. Was meinst du? Welche Accessories und welche Kleidungsstücke passen zu gut und welche nicht? What do you think which accessories and which clothes are matching with each other and which are not matching? For example, der graue Anzug und die schwarzen Schuhe passen gut zusammen, passen in suit with each other. So the grey uh, Anzug is suit and the black shoes are matching with each other. Their green rock, the green skirt and the roten o-ring, the red earring, passen nicht zusammen, don't match with each other. So I hope this is clear to you. Kurswok Zaita Nummer 67 und 68. Jetzt lesen wir einige kleine Dialoge. Now we will read a few small dialogues. So, Those dialogues are about their Einkauf. And Einkauf is shopping. So all dialogues are related to shopping. Dialog 1. Leonie, ich suche einen Rock. I am searching a skirt. Sarah asks, was für einen? Einen langen oder einen kurzen? What type of? What kind of? Was für einen is what type of or what kind of skirt are you searching? A long one or a short one? Leone, I am in the langen rock. I am searching a red long skirt. Yes, dialog 2. Maria, Anya, komm mal, we are gehen einkaufen. Komm mal is come on. We will go for shopping. Gan, gan means gladly. Was möchtest du kaufen? What do you want to buy? Ein schickes Kleid für die Party am Samstag. Schick bedeutet fashionable modern dress, one piece, for the party on Saturday. Gehen wir in das neue Kaufhaus? Shall we go in the new shopping mall? Dort gibt es einen Sonderverkauf für Kleidungsstücke. Sonderverkauf ist Sale. There some sale is going on for clothes. 50% reduced, 50% reduced, so 50% discount is there. So, shall we go in that new cow house? Are both the dialogues clear to you? Yet, listen where dialogue dry und dialogue fear. Auf der Seite Nummer 68. Im Kaufhaus, this is the dialogue 3, is in the shopping mall. Anita says, wie findest du die blaue Bluse? Bluse? Bluse ist top. How do you find the blue top? Hübsch. Is sie teuer? Hübsch is pretty. Is it expensive? This Z is used for Bluse. Bluse is feminine. That's why Z is used. Garnish. Z kostet nur 24 Euro 30. Kauf sie doch. Not at all. Garnished is not at all. It cost only 24 euro 30. Buy it. Undu, nimmst du den Rock? Are you taking the skirt? 
वेलशन माइंस तो वेलशन इज विच विच आर यू सेइंग देन द रोट इन द द रेड वन देयर नाइन देयर इज टमियर सु लांग लांग इज लांग इट इज लांग फॉर मी नाउ डायलॉग फियर गेफेल डियर डीजर पुलोवर डू यू लाइक दिस पुलोवर वेलशर देन विच वन देयर बाइक फार्बेन द दैट इज द बेच कलर वन या द फार्बर स्टेट डियर गुड काउ फिन डॉक द स्टेहन इज सूट सो द कलर इज सूटिंग टू ईच अदर टू यू सो बाय इट नाउ इन इज यूज फॉर पुल ओवर इट इज मस्क्यूल दैट्स वाय इन इज यूज लाइडर पास एंड मेयर नेश पास एन इज टू फिट एंड स्टेहन इज टू सूट बोथ आर डाटिव वर्क so unfortunately it is not fitting to me arist mir su eng eng actually meaning is narrow but in the context of clothes its meaning is tight so it is very tight for me and they have given few adjectives here in that picture su gross is too big su lang too long su kurs too short su eng is tight i hope it is clear Now we are going to see a grammar topic was for ein, 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 and welche. I want to explain you the difference between it. Was for ein means what type of, what kind of, and welche means which. Was for ein is always used in case of or with indefinite article, whereas welche is always used with definite article. so just you need to keep in mind whenever in the answer indefinite article is there so it is not the specific one then it is always was for ein 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 should come whereas if in the answer definite article is used so it is specific one then always welcher welcher welche should come now we will read the example and we will understand Was for I know hose suits to what type of trouser are you searching? I know brown. See, I know brown. That's why I know hose. Was for I know mantle me ostensi. I know dunkle and mantle. I know I know. Was for I know Clyde Brooks to I know she kiss. So for feminine I know for masculine accusative I know for neutral it is I know and if it is plural. you already know in definite article there is no plural article so you won't you article use any article you will directly write was for only so was for shoe has hooks to elegant shoe because there is no article for indefinite plural now let's read the example of welsh welsher pullover gefeld here their bike for benada whenever the answer is there the question is welsher if the answer is d the question is welsher like the second one welsher hose gefeld dear the brown here if the answer is thus question will be welsher because it is referring to the same noun so welsher clyde kaufs to thus gemustert fur fun fun fur which euro welsher cravat is in bilish the galbet so if it is feminine and plural you will use welsher in case of neutral you will use welsher and in case of masculine if it is nominative you will use welsher and if it is accusative like the last example welsh and rock names to then the road and land then you need to use it welsh so if the answer is then then the question will be welsh i hope it is clear to you just keep in mind was for ein 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 always comes with indefinite article whereas welsh welsher welshes always come with definite article this you have to keep in mind i hope it is clear 